Hi and welcome back. This is a lid motor and this is a continuation of the Emotip radiant oscillator light fan project. And my version uh, currently is at the 555 timer solid state. And I went ahead and boxed it and put it in a box and changed the circuit slightly from what I posted last time. This uh, solid state circuit with the 555 timer, I just put it right into a charge battery. Now on the last circuit diagram, if you looked at it, I had this going into a capacitor, then into an earth ground, which it still can be done, but for the mobile boxed version of this circuit, I decided to simplify it and just do it like the normal circuit was into a charge battery coming off of the negative of the coil. The um, 555 turn timer circuit is right there. You can freeze frame this and probably read the values. Uh, it's very, very simple. It's just going in a square wave pattern into that uh, transistor. There's a potentiometer there and a potentiometer right there to vary the frequencies and pulse rates, etc. And anyway, I went ahead and boxed it. And um, this is the little uh, the little box. I don't have a name for it yet, but it's very similar to Emotip's idea of just putting the bulb on top of the box. Uh, makes it simpler. Uh, there's the original lunch box right there. And of course that does work quite well and we'll be using that. And there's the light that you can move around mobile if you want to. And uh, there's my little snack box uh, Dedede fan that goes with the whole setup. But this uh, this was a small unit that I wanted to be able to uh, do what Emotip did. And you can take the bulb out and this makes a very small package now as opposed to the lunchbox version uh, with the uh, mobile light, etc. So, plus, it's really easy to change these bulbs, of course, and try them out. So anyway, I've, I've got this uh, whole circuit in the box right now, and I've got it on a power source. And I also went to a 10-watt solar panel for charging during the day. And um, I, the little 2-watt uh, wasn't going to hack it, so I went up to a 10-watt, and this does it quite nicely, of course. And uh, you just put it in there and charge up the internal batteries. It has the nickel metal hydrides on this one. The lunchbox has lithiums, but this is uh, the nickel metal hydrides. Now I'm going to turn this on and show you the light. And there's the light. Uh, I'll show it with you one more time. There's the light at about the value of the lunchbox. I'm going to turn the lunchbox on here. There's the lunchbox, and there's this little box. I haven't named it yet. Mini box, I guess. I don't know. But the difference between the two is uh, the lunchbox runs about four hours on our recycling circuit. It's got a, ca a cap pulser circuit that just recycles the energy back around. And this one here, I don't know how long it'll run, to tell you the truth, but it runs at less amp draw at low light levels and more amp draw at higher light levels. And of course, it's not got the recirculating system. It's a charge-recharge uh, battery system. but Watch the brightness on this one. This has much better brightness than the lunchbox. And of course I'm paying for it with amp draw. But if you want light, you have it on this one. And I do like that. Uh, that's a nice feature. But uh, the uh, inside of the lunchbox is, uh, I'm sorry, the little snack box, uh, mini box thing here is jammed with one coil. I'm just using one coil on this and there's the circuitry inside there and this is not a Bedini circuit, this is a 555 timer circuit, it's a little different of course and a charge and a drive source battery inside there that you would swap back and forth and that's the difference between the lunch box and this uh, little mini box here is um, this you would be cycling the batteries around because it's a charge recharge uh, drive charge battery situation go back and forth the lunch box is on a cap pulser that just uh, feeds juice right back into the drive source battery and so that's the difference between the two but I do really like this brightness on this box here that is nice and you, you vary it with the um, you got a 555 timer potentiometer and a transistor potentiometer and you have to get these synced in and right now I've got this running on a, an output, uh, I mean an input from the wall outlet, but of course you take that off. And now you've got a real nice thing to carry around the house. You can set it up here and watch television with it at night, you know, whatever you want to do. It, it makes a real handy little unit 
to carry around and I like that I mean I thought that was pretty neat to have something that was extremely mobile take it set it beside your bed you know whatever you want to do with it and that's what I wanted I wanted something that was really 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 mobile and that's it and you want the light it's right there so this was my latest thing and um, um, this looks pretty good to me that's the latest take care